going on YouTube community this is Victor bringing you a quick little update uh, yeah I'm wearing my glasses um, for some reason tonight my diabetes is up uh, a little bit so when my diabetes is up I can't really see very well so waiting for medication to kick in and take care of that but anyhow um, yeah I'm wearing my glasses uh, I'm just bringing you a quick little update uh, I, I hit another model score uh, yesterday uh, I picked up some models and uh, just you know bring you a quick little update show a little show and tell uh, basically of uh, what I got uh, I'm pretty excited because this is a very large load of uh, models tonight so uh, uh, just bear with me you know I'm gonna basically pick up the camera and just show you what I got uh, just kinda run through it real quick and uh, and kinda hit on a couple of them that I've already picked out parts that I'm gonna use on another uh, model so bear with me guys uh, I'll be right back guys well we're gonna start out with this 99 Chevy Silverado uh, on this truck right here but I've already uh, picked out the uh, motor out of it I'm actually gonna use it in my 63 Impala build that I'm gonna uh, be doing here pretty soon so the motor out of it is going in the Impala uh, and uh, got a couple other parts that uh out of some of these kits that I'm going to pull from there too so that's the first one the second one is a 76 Chevy Caprice uh, everything's in the, in the box except for the uh, trailer that's right here so that trailer is not in there but uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with this one here uh, maybe a box dog maybe custom I don't know uh, but you know as you can see there's a lot of models here so, yeah. Anyhow, the next one is a 65 Chevy Impala SS hardtop. Uh, this one is completely uh, complete box, uh, except it does not. It's in primer. The car is in primer, and that's it. It's in a black primer. So this this one's a real good deal. Uh, and then I got 270 Chevy Impalas. I think Chevy Cheeseburger is building this one here. Uh, of course, not box stock. I think he's building his uh, Pro Street or something like that. I'm not sure. Um, he hasn't posted up another update video on this one yet but anyhow uh, these two combined will make one kit uh, I think this one's more complete than this one so but anyhow this two kits right here will make one kit then we come to this uh, snap uh, minivan I don't know it just it just came with the with the uh, deal and then we got uh, oh no not that one uh, we got this Honda Civic SI coupe uh, that one there uh, is uh, pretty much put together. It needs the glass put in, the uh, headlights, taillights, uh, wing, wheels, all that stuff put together. I'm not going to do it. This one is being sold to my brother. He likes Hondas and Acuras and stuff like that. So this one, this Acura Integra is going to be going. Uh, and this uh, Civic uh, SIR, which is a Japanese right-hand drive Civic. So, and then uh, moving on to the next one, guys. 67 Chevy Impala Street Machine. I used to have one of these kits back in the day uh, when I first started modeling, and uh, I really liked doing it. And I'm glad that I got another one. The only thing is, this one here has this door cut out, the other door started, and the trunk started. So this kit's already basically needing to be finished. The cutting needs to be finished and then hinged for uh, for the doors in the trunk. So I don't know. Uh, depending how it goes for me, either this is going to be uh, built or it's going to be um, basically used as parts. I don't know. And then we come up to another pair of uh, 1970 Chevy Impalas. Super Sports, uh, basically the same thing as the Monte Carlos. Both of these kits will make one kit. Uh, both of these have parts that the other one, that you know, they were both robbed parts, but what was robbed out of this one wasn't robbed out of this one, and what was robbed out of this one wasn't robbed out of here. So I looked at both of them, and they look like it's enough parts to make one kit. Moving on, the 64 Impala Super Sport uh, AMT kit. This one here... Um, uh, is cut 
this one is cut uh, for the uh, to turn it into a convertible. It's, it is already a convertible. Uh, it comes with a convertible boot top, so that that was included in the deal. So um, we'll we'll be building this one uh, soon. The next one is a '51 Chevy. I'm hoping this 51 Chevy I get it done before, uh, I'm sorry, I'm hoping the 48 Chevy gets done so I can start building this one and uh, put this one next to my 48 Chevy sedan delivery. Mm -hmm. And then we come up to 61 Impala Super Sport. Yes, Super Sport. Love this kit. This is a Lindbergh kit. Uh, old, 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 old kit, but... Uh, this one's also cut for a convertible. Um, I wouldn't have cut it. It's a really nice kit, but uh, it is what it is, and we're gonna try to make it make the best of it. It is a complete kit, so um, we'll see what happens. If I can clean it up and, and get it to uh, look pretty good, then we'll uh, we'll uh, we'll uh, definitely build it. Um, and last but not least is the Buick Riviera. Uh, this is the. Uh, a real nice kit here uh, this one's gonna get built uh, box stock uh, it also has a door cut out and the trunks cut uh, trunk lid cut out so hopefully we get to build it pretty soon and then uh, this video is coming up too long so I'm gonna try to cut it short uh, we also he also included a 63 Chevy this one uh, as you can see it's already silver uh, basically this is a base coat so it's ready for another candy color or something like that um, this one's not complete it doesn't have windows it doesn't have suspension it doesn't have wheels it doesn't have front back bumper so uh, this one here we are going to maybe turn it into a hopper it has some damage right here by the window uh, you can see the windows are bowed out a little bit I don't know what happened but uh, we're gonna use this as parts uh, if needed for the other 63 but uh, definitely a, a, a good kit. I'm going to turn this maybe into a hopper if I don't need any parts. If I have any parts that are missing. Um, next one is a diecast 69 Camaro. This is a Johnny Lightning edition. Um, never seen it before, but it's, it's a pretty nice and a very, very heavy car. I don't know why. It's heavier than this car. And then this is a 57 Chevy Bel Air. Uh, both of these key, uh, cars, I'm taking them to work. I'm going to uh, display them at work. Um, I have another die-cast car at work uh, that I display. And, uh, you know, I like cars. So, I'll take these to work. Um, and then you guys see the uh, Chevy Nova back there. Uh, I had a little accident uh, earlier today. Uh, moving this car. I was trying to take pictures. Uh, and my back bumper came off. And my front grill and bumper came off. So, uh, she's she's going to get uh, these parts re-glued uh, back on. I'm going to try to go to the to the uh, hobby store and uh, get a different uh, uh, type of glue for this. Uh, hopefully we get something better. Uh, if you guys any have any opinions on which glue uh, to use, let me know. Uh, anyways, guys, uh, last but not least, uh, this is for H-Town Models. I forgot your whole screen name, bud, but I'm sorry. I don't want to blow it up. Blow it. Uh, let me just show you this. This is for this uh, dark garnet red metallic. This is the color that I used on the uh, 63 uh, Impala, my my first one. So uh, this is just Duper Club Perfect Match paint, automotive paint. I didn't decant it. This is straight out of out of the uh, can. So. Anyways, guys, uh, that's pretty much all I got. Uh, you guys, uh, I've been watching y'all's videos, and I'm going to post up another video because I'm going to uh, do something. So, anyways, look out for the another video. and. Uh